to Big Blippy Station. It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippy. Oh, look at that cute little squirrel digging a hole. Did you see her bury that nut? So true, Debo. We do need to know the answer. I wonder, why do squirrels bury their nuts? I'm gonna need the excavator arm and wings. Excavator arm, wings, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Look, Debo! This is an acorn. It's a type of nut, and squirrels love them. Here, squirrely, squirrely. We have an acorn over here. Nuts, nuts, I need more nuts. I can't get enough nuts. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is my friend Debo. He found a nut for you. Nut? Oh, thanks for the acorn, Blippi. My name is Sparky. I'm kinda a nut expert. Then you have to tell us, Sparky. Why do squirrels bury their nuts? What? You don't bury your nuts? Huh? <gasps> Come with me. No time to waste. We need nuts, 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 and more nuts. <sighs> this is the garden, my favorite place to collect and bury things. You know, I can bury 25 things an hour. That's a lot of burying. How do you remember where you put it all? I keep everything up here in the old furry head. My memory is amazing. You think you can remember like I can? <laughs> you want to try it? We sure do. <laughs> we do. Easy peasy. Not an acorn. This is harder than I thought. <laughs> Hello, huh? yummy walnut. <gasps> we can't find any acorns. That's right. Because I take special care to hide my nuts so only I can find them. That's how I keep them safe. And then I'll dig them up in the winter when I'm hungry and food is harder to find. So cool! And I found the answer to my question. Why do squirrels bury their nuts? Squirrels bury their nuts and other things so they can eat them later and have enough food during the winter. Upload answer, Devo. <laughs> Bye, Sparky! Bye-bye! <laughs> Keep digging! <laughs> I see the moon, stars, and is that a planet? Oh, it is, Tabs. Whoa, there's a whole area out there in space with the planets and the sun. It's called the solar system. Hmm, I wonder, what planets are in the solar system? Good idea, Tabs. Let's go into outer space. I'm gonna need a rocket booster. Rocket booster. Activate Blippi Station! Now it's time to get planet size! Growing up! <laughs> right, Taps, we're in space! Whoa, it's a meteor! Hey, it's me, Blippi! Welcome to Outer Space! I'm Mary the Meteor! I'm here to find out about all the planets in our solar system. There are eight planets in our solar system! Let's meet them, shall we? Closest to the blazing sun are the two smallest and hottest planets, Mercury and Venus! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. That is hot! We should go! The third planet is your home, Earth. Hi, Mom. Then there's Mars, the red planet. Mars is red because it's covered in rusty soil. <laughs> That's a lot of dust. Come on. Next up is the giant Jupiter. 
bigger than all the planets combined. He doesn't scare me, though. Whoa! We should go! We sure are a long way from the sun now. Welcome to Saturn and her rings. Whoa, they look beautiful. Can we get closer? Of course. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, wee. Wait, we haven't finished yet. On your left is Uranus, billions of miles from the sun, pretty cold. Now let's hear it for the furthest, windiest, and coldest planet, Neptune! Whoa! I have the answer to my question. What planets are in our solar system? Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Upload answer tabs. Thanks for the tour, Mary. That was wild. See ya, Blippi. Time for a shower. A meteor shower! Bye, Mary the meteor. Mmm. What's better than a delicious piece of fruit? You're right, Debo. Vegetables are yummy, too. Hmm, I wonder, what's the difference between fruits and vegetables? <coughs> Super suggestion! We'll go into that garden to figure it out. I'm gonna need wings and a grabber arm. Wings, grabber arm, confirmed. Okie dokie, artichokey. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippy Mobile is ready for adventure! All right, we're in a community garden where all kinds of fruits and vegetables grow. And look, there's one right now. Step right up! You're the next contestants on Slip Cucumber Certified Fresh Game Show! Fruit of Vegetables! Say hello to your names! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Now, Blippi and Debo, a quick review before we start. All fruits have a pit or seed in them and grow on a plant with flowers. Fruits have pits or seeds and always flowers. Got it. And vegetables are different. There are root and leaves. Got that, too. Excellent. Let's play. Tell me, Blippi, is this carrot a fruit? Oh, ooh, the carrot is a vegetable because it's a root and has leaves. That's right! But can Blippi go two for two? So tell me, is this tomato a fruit or a vegetable? Hmm, this is tough. Okay, a tomato grows from a plant, but it has seeds. It's also a vegetable? Oh, sorry. Tomato is a fruit. Now, your final question, Blippi. Can you tell me if this strawberry is a fruit or vegetable? Strawberry is a, a, a fruit. Yes, strawberry is a fruit. And you for two correct dances, which means this trophy is all yours. Wow. Thanks, Mr. Slim. And I also have the answer to my question. What's the difference between fruits and vegetables? Vegetables are roots and leaves. And fruits have flowers in a pit or seeds. Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, Mr. Slim. Congrats to you, Blippi. That's our game. I'm Slim the Cucumber, and by the way, I'm a fruit. Tune in next time for our special guest, Madam Mango, on Fruit of Vegetables! I love being at the beach. Whoa! A flying fish! Hmm, I wonder, what's underneath the ocean? Good idea, Tabs. We can go into the ocean and find out. I'll need duck feet and a propeller. Duck feet, propeller, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> the 
the Blippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Wow, it's a whole other world down here. Is this like some kind of underwater forest? Exactly, it is a forest. Welcome to my neighborhood. My name's Jerry, Jerry the Jellyfish. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're down here to see what's in the ocean. Oh yeah, there's a lot. The ocean's full of surprises. I'll show you. I'm going to meet my friends. And, well, I'll give you a tour along the way. All right, thanks, Jerry. First stop, our kelp forest. This kelp can grow up to 150 feet. Wow, that's so tall. Oh yeah, but sometimes the water current around here blows the kelp around. Kelp, kelp! Oh no, this never happens. Great idea, Tabs. Let's use the turbo boosters. Oh good, glad you're okay. Let's move on. Whoa, that fish is blue and has a long nose. She's a blue marlin. She uses her nose to find and catch food. She's also really fast. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no, this never happens. <coughs> yeah, Tabs, it is dark in here, wherever we are. Jerry. Jerry? Blippi, is that you in there? Oh no, hold on. <sighs> Whoa! I scared a gray whale and she blew you right out of her blowhole? That never happens. Thanks for getting us out of there, Jerry. Oh, you're all lit up. I told you the ocean was full of surprises, didn't I? Hey, look, it's your friends. Hiya, pals. You guys found me. And I found the answer to my question. What's underneath the ocean? There's a kelp forest, blue marlins, huge whales, and a jellyfish that lights up. Upload answer tabs. And we're only on chapter one. In chapter two, there's an octopus, and a shark, and a sea turtle, and a tuna. Bye, Jerry. Oh, and there's an otter, and a seahorse, and a lobster, and a stingray. Wow, that's a pretty tall mountain. I'm sure there are way taller mountains, Tabs. Hmm, I wonder, what's the tallest mountain in the world? Great idea, Tabs. We'll go to the Himalayas and find out. I'm going to need wings and the grabber arm. Wings, grabber arm, confirm. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find the tallest mountain in the world. It's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're looking for the tallest mountain. I'm climbing it right now. Hi, I'm Betty the Yeti. Yeti. I was just headed to the top. That's where the best snow is. <laughs> Nothing worse than old snow. <clears throat> Can I tag along? I want to see what it's like on top of the tallest mountain. Of course, but get ready. This mountain is super tall. Ice. We're up so high, and it's much colder up here. Thanks, Tabs. I love hot cocoa. Whoa! Gotcha! Oh, phew. That was a close one. Hey, it's the mountain top. Yeah, we made it. Oh, whoa! It's so windy up here. I got you, Blippi. So, what is the name of this mountain? It's Tamalangma! Oh, 
You call it Mount Everest. You're right, Tabs. I have the answer to my question. What's the tallest mountain in the world? It's Mount Everest. It's 29,035 feet tall. Upload answer, Tabs. And the snow up here is delicious. <laughs> snow burps. <laughs> Have a good snow snack. Bye, Betty the Yeti. Bye, Flippy. Whoa, Tabs, look at this amazing rainforest. You're right. I bet all kinds of interesting animals are in there. I wonder, what kind of animals live in a rainforest? I'm gonna need spider legs and the grabber arm. Spider legs, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Wow! This place is so green! They must get a lot of rain here. Yes, we do, actually. Hey! It's me, Blippi. This is Tabs. Hello, I'm Bye, the giant panda bear. Glad to meet you. We want to know what kind of animals live in a rainforest. Can you show us around? Yes, okay, but I am meeting my sister for lunch and I'm always late, so I'd like to be there first for once. We won't be long. Super! Let's go see what we can find. Yeah! Thanks, bye! I do get a little hungry before lunch, so could you help me collect some bamboo on the way? Just for a snack. <laughs> sure! Whoa! This bamboo is as tall as a house! The juiciest shoots are at the top. Would you mind? Whoa! 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 Lovely! Whoa, look! There's a monkey! He's a golden monkey! Hi, Fred! <laughs> Sorry, Fred. All pandas love bamboo. It's all we ever eat, actually. Not even ice cream? Not even ice cream! Unless it was bamboo flavor. <laughs> Could you get me a little more bamboo? All this chewing makes me terribly hungry. Sure thing! There's a nice stalk just there. Whoa, little red bugs. Oh, it's Reese and Fiona. They're red bamboo weevils. Hi, buggies. Oh no, I'm going to be late again. Sorry, we need to go. Oh, not again. I'm sorry, but I was helping my new friends, Blippi and Tabs. Hello. Could I possibly share some of your bamboo, please? Thanks for the tour, Bye. You really helped me answer my question. What kind of animals live in the rainforest? Golden monkeys, red beetles, and giant panda bears who love eating bamboo. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. I think it's time for a snack of our own. <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye, bye. It's a garbage truck. I can see it and <laughs> smell it too. <coughs> wow, Tabs, even you think it's stinky. And you're a robot. Wait, where's that buzzing sound coming from? Oh, flies. Hey, those flies just flew into the garbage truck. Hmm. I wonder, why do flies love garbage? Good idea, Tabs. We can go into the garbage truck to find out the answer. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out why flies love garbage. Shrinking down. your breath tabs we're going in i'm in the garbage truck welcome <laughs> i'm horace the fly looks like your first time here hmm? hi horace it's me blippy 
This is my first visit to a garbage truck. <laughs> Little stinky, huh? <gasps> Not for me. I love smells. Follow me. I'll show you around. This place is like my playground. <laughs> 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 Whoopsies. Sorry about that. Hey, Horace. Why do flies love garbage? Because it's delicious and garbage makes me fly. We've got stinky beans, moldy cheese, greasy pizza boxes, and even leftover mystery mush. <laughs> Sorry, must have been the beans. I could give you a ride to the nearest garden or fly restaurant. Horace! Where are you? <laughs> Everything's coming up! Garbage! Oh, was that cake? Oh, no, that was not cake. Still good, though. Got a dash and eat all the trash. Horace has more energy now. Aha! Which means I think I have the answer to why flies like garbage. It's because they love the smell and they find food there. That's so silly. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. Yes, sir, Bippy. For me, a garbage truck is a 24 7 all I can eat restaurant. Woohoo! Go, Horace! Thanks! Cheers, Blippi! Phew! It's so hot out today, but. My popsicle is melting down my hand. Hmm, I wonder, why do popsicles melt down my hand? What's that, Tabs? Go into that ice cream truck and ask an expert? That's a great idea. I'm gonna need wings, the excavator arm, and duck feet. Wings, excavator arm, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out why my popsicle always melts down my hand. Shrinking down! Woohoo! I'm in the ice cream truck. Hi, welcome to my neighborhood. I'm Sherry Pop. Glad you popped in. Hi, Sherry. It's me, Blippi. I was wondering why my popsicle always melts down my hand. Oh, I know that one. But first, let's have some frozen fun. All right. Woohoo! We're ice cream boarding. <laughs> We're sprinkle sliding. I'm chocolate fudge snorkeling. Sherry, are you melting? Yes, I'm melting because I'm very warm. But I'll go cool off in the freezer and I'll be fine in a sec. Mmm, ice cold. How's it going in there, Sherry? It's freezy breezy. Now I'm all set. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, it looks super freezing in there. Yep, it's cool to be cold when you're a frozen dessert like me. My ideal temperature is 32 degrees Fahrenheit, zero degrees Celsius. If I keep cool like that, then I won't melt. Good to know. I see you're like my popsicle from earlier. When it was out of the freezer and in the heat of the blippy mobile, it melted on me. Sounds like your popsicle should have come for a visit. You're right. Which means we have the answer to my question. Why my popsicle melts down in my hand. It's because... Popsicles will melt if they get too warm. That's why we keep them in the freezer. Upload answer tabs. Sherry, thank you for a totally tasty adventure. It was so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Stay cool, Flippy. Bye bye. Mmm, I love chocolate. Just a little bit now and then. Do you love it too, Debo? Oh, right. Dogs can't have chocolate. It hurts their tummies. Hmm. I wonder, how are chocolate bars made? 
great idea! We can go into that chocolate factory and find out! I'm gonna need wings, hovercraft, and a prop engine! Wings, hovercraft, prop engine, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Let's go meet some chocolate bars in the chocolate factory. Hey there! <gasps> You're not Cocoa Beans! I need them so we can start making chocolate bars! <laughs> I'm not a bean, it's me, Blippi! And this is Debo! Hi, Blippi! Hi, Debo! <laughs> I'm Barb the Chocolate Bar! Welcome to my chocolate factory. Thanks, Barb. I'd love to see how chocolate bars are made. Can we come with you? Absolutely. It all begins with cocoa beans. <laughs> These beans come from plants. So how do beans become a chocolate bar? <laughs> they go on a little journey. First, a bean bath. Next, our beans get roasty and toasty. Then they get made into teeny weeny beans. <laughs> our bean powder then gets mixed with sugar and milk to make them sweet and smooth. <laughs> Woohoo! Come on, Debo, time to ski. No. no, but it'll be fun. It's Chocolate Bar Debo! After the chocolate is cooled into bar shapes, we wrap them and they're ready! Ta-da! Whoa! You both look alike! And I have the answer to my question. How are chocolate bars made? Cocoa beans get washed, heated, crunched, mixed with milk and sugar, and then cooled down into a chocolate bar. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for a sweet tour, Barb. Anytime. Bye, Blippi. Bye-bye. <laughs> Wow, that bee sure seems busy. And so does that one. And that one too. They're all so busy. <laughs> well, except that one. Those bees are busy making honey. Hmm, I wonder, how do bees make honey? Yes, let's go into the beehive. I'm gonna need wings and the excavator arm. Wings, excavator arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Now, we just need to make like a bee and be tinier. Shrinking down! You're right, Tabs. The bee's tongue is in the flower. Hey, it's me, Blippi. This is Tabs. I was wondering how you make honey. Hey, Blippi, I'm Bijon. Honey, huh? This is the place to be. <laughs> so I'm using my tongue to drink in this sweet nectar. It's how we bees start to make honey. OK, time to buzz. Into the beehive. Follow me. Spoiler, lots of bees working. It's like a honey factory in there. <laughs> Bijan, are they all chewing nectar? Sure are. Gotta chew, that's what we do. Chewing makes it thicker. Can't have runny honey. Ha, 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 I rhymed again. <laughs> and after you chew, then you have honey? No, no, there's more to show. We chew, then we swallow. The nectar stays in our bellies, becomes honey, then we put it in the honeycomb. The honeycomb? Yep, we store the honey in the honeycomb. <gasps> Maybe I can taste some honey. Oh dear. This may look 
look funny, but flapping our wings is how we make thicker honey. It's a bee thing. Whoa! Yes, Tabs, I have the answer to my question. How do bees make honey? They get nectar from flowers, chew it, store it in their stomachs, then put the honey in a honeycomb and flap their wings over it. Upload answer tabs. Bye, Bijan. Thanks for being you. <laughs> <laughs>